Welcome to another exciting episode of Show Jumping Unplugged TV, right here, right now. And don't forget to tune in to KBMD Channel 23 on Mondays at 5 o'clock in L.A. Or you can tune in to uh, Delmar TV Channel 66, Mondays at 4 and Tuesday morning at 10.30. And you can watch our simulcast on the web, courtesy of Delmar TV. Right now, right here, it's Helen McNaught and Comar Cruz. She went third tonight as uh, this class of 33 could not crack the code with Peter Holmes here this evening. And I got to tell you, I walked this course early in the evening and uh, it looked straightforward. It was all right there, but the devil is in the details. And let me tell you, Helen McNaught went third and she had to watch the other 30 riders uh, as she put in this just near perfect round. Just a tad bit slow on the range. She had a couple of time faults, but I got to tell you, hats off to Helen McNaught, Comar Cruz, doing the uh, job tonight effortlessly over this beautiful, beautiful course. Let's settle in now and watch the final jumps here as uh, Helen counts down to that $35,000 in prize money. Final line coming up. Not a problem. Yep, it is the experience that uh, Helen brings with us, delivering her to victory tonight. No better a rider can be found right here, right now, on Show Jumping Unplugged TV. It's Helen McNaught, Comar Cruz, to uh, ride off with the uh, lion's share of that $35,000 prize money. To find out what's next, let's go to Helen okay, and Tammy. Hey, we're here with tonight's winner, Helen McNaught, in the $35,000 Spring Classic 3 at the Oaks Blenheim. Hi! Hi! Okay, <laughs> fantastic tonight. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about your horse. My horse is a, I believe he's 10 now. I actually found him in Holland with our partner in Holland, Hank Melser. And we, I brought him over with John Endicott. We sold him originally. The, late, the owner had him for a year, sent him back to us to sell. I was lucky enough to get the ride in thermal and our hard work's paid off. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So no cleans really tonight. A little, you had two time faults. Yeah, it, it, the course walked quite easy, nice. I was happy with the course because okay. me, I ride very English. I, I like to add and everything was a little short strided. So that suited me perfectly. Except a little too many strides, because obviously right. I got time falls. <laughs> um, I would have liked to have seen a jump off, but I will take a win any way I can get it. Heck yeah! <laughs> so I'm happy. Okay, obviously. so there's nobody I would have rather won tonight than oh, this one. Oh, thank you. And and also she's our in at the World Winter uh, Horse Show. Yeah, London. that is. Oh my God, you guys. Hey, <laughs> okay, we're have so much we're fun. coming at you. Show jumping and plug is going to London. Let me tell you. Going to Windsor to see the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> to see the Queen. Queen, if you're out there. We need an interview. <laughs> she likes horses. She's always there. She'll be there. But again, back to your win tonight. Fantastic. Awesome. I'm just I'm, yeah. I think John Endicott gave me the ride of the horse. So basically, it's thanks to him. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I wouldn't be in the class. Um, and the horse, you know, all our horses are for sale. So obviously, we won't keep him very long when he's going this good. But I'll make the go. most of him while I've got him. Absolutely. Fantastic. And that, that says it all right there. Well, listen, again, Helen McNaught, tonight's winner of the $35,000 Spring Classic 3. Thank you so much for joining us right here, right now on Show Jumping Unplugged. Hi, I'm Richard Spoon. So join me with Jerry while we work on transitions. The key to transitions is the positioning of your aids. I'm going to ask him first to go from the halt to the walk. This is a very simple transition. I use both my legs just behind the girth, a little bit of a soft hand, but I don't give him his head all the way. And now I ask him with both legs, and there I get the walk transition. Now the next one I'm going to ask for is the walk to the trot. Another very simple transition. I'm going to use a little bit of feel in both legs just behind the girth to get him to trot. Now notice when I ask the horse to trot, I don't lean my shoulders forward, I just use my leg aids. Now the next transition is going to be from the trot to the cannon. I'm going to sit down, take my time. Now the important part of this is my outside leg. I want to be sitting for this transition, not posting, not the rising. As I come by the camera here, I'm going to put my outside leg back and show you the positioning of the right leg for the cannon. So I put my right leg back to ask for the cannon. 
That way he knows to maintain the left lead. And I'll do the same thing if I do transition going the other direction. So walk, trot, and then as I come around the canter. Now watch my outside leg, my left leg, as I come through, I'm going to put it very far back behind the girth to encourage him to pick up the right knee. That positioning makes it able for me to sit still and ask him without having to use a lot of strength. Oh. That's how we do transition. Well, thank you for joining us today. My name is Richard Spooner. This is Jerry DeGray. And my favorite title to ride in has always been Antarctic. We had three great weeks here. I think a lot of people had a lot of fun. I think the Derby was a big success three weeks ago. I think the 14 horse Grand Prix was as good as it gets in the first week. I don't know if you saw that. Yes. I mean, I thought that the atmosphere in the new arena is, we repainted it. There's a, a, a great sense of glow in the place. And I think people are pretty happy right now. But we just do our job and everybody seems to like it. And we're, we're happy Aww. to be part of it. And you guys do a great job. I, I see all your stuff, all your emails. You're really diligent about it. You really filled a, a, an important void for the, for the, certainly for the West Coast, keeping us in the sport because we need all the help we can get. Oh, thank you so much. And one last question. Sure. It, I've seen in the magazine articles that this is the last year here. Is that true or Well, our lease, uh, our lease is uh, up this year. Okay. And, um, you know, this property is a very valuable property. And yes. We've been extremely fortunate with the, the ranch. I mean, they extended our lease when we didn't expect it to be extended in 2004 after the Olympics. And I think we got an extra four years, and I think I'm pretty fortunate. I mean, and I thank the rank, ranch for what they did. Yes. And uh, this property is, you know, probably will end up being, you know, eight or 900 houses. It's a very valuable oh. property. Right. And uh, I don't know. So okay. it might be over. So... Uh, We'll have a farewell party, but uh, yes. thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, listen, we will keep you informed now on Show Jumping Unplugged. Great.